I'm always telling my coworkers that I'm going to do a story slam. So I just came in here today and decided that I was going to do it. Yeah. <laughs> so um, Wendy Williams has a phrase. She's, you know, a pretty, like, okay person. But she has a phrase that's, like, friend in my head. And I kind of have a best friend in my head. This person is um, Mayor Michael Nutter. Um, <laughs> I'm gonna tell you why, okay? This isn't really a story, but like a series of stories that make you believe that like this guy is like, we're BFFs, it's totally okay. I know you're excited. I'm gonna, I'm gonna get there. <laughs> so he and I are BFFs. It started when I was in elementary school. Now, I'm from Philadelphia. I grew up in the Northeast. I don't know if you guys remember, but there was some time where you could smoke in Johnny Brenda's. And Mayor, well, Councilman Michael Nutter was like, nah, I'm not having that. Like, I'm gonna put an end to that. So here comes a time where this bill comes to pass where he's like, there's no smoking indoors. And me being like 10 or 12, I'm like, yeah, like smoking is bad. Like, let's not do that. So I go to city council and I speak. And I do this impassioned speak. I say like, you know, like, do you guys care about me? Well, it was probably like, do you guys care about me? Like, <laughs> smoking is bad. You can't smoke indoors. And, you know, I actually speak. And like, he comes up to me afterwards and he like says to me, I do care about you. And I like took that to heart. I was like, oh my God, like this guy, like who I've never met before, who has a funny name, like really cares about me. <laughs> so I'm keeping that in mind. That's like a defining moment in my life and what kind of motivated me to like want to make a change in the world. So a couple years later, it's high school graduation time. I'm lucky enough to go to this awesome high school called Central. Yeah! 270, by the way. <laughs> um, so I'm lucky enough to go to Central, and the graduation is at the Kimmel Center. I don't know why, but this is the time where I have, like, my 18-year-old breakdown. After the, like, rehearsal, I start crying and crying, like, nobody's ever going to talk to me. I'm only five foot. I thought I was supposed to grow more, you know, like, <laughs> freaking out. And I end up in, outside of City Hall, and, like, I, like, I'm sitting crying. My friends are comforting me. And then I turn to my left, and I see him. At this point, he's my guardian angel. He told me he cared about me. <laughs> <laughs> So I go after him, I'm like, Michael Nutter, Michael Nutter, Michael Nutter, and he turns around and he's like, yes. And I was like, uh, I hadn't thought to that point, and I was like, uh, well, my high school graduation is tomorrow, do you wanna come? <laughs> and he's like, you gotta invite me, and I was like, well, that's what I'm doing right now, I'm inviting you. <laughs> he doesn't show up, and like, I'm heartbroken. It's really like tearing me to pieces, I know. It's okay, because a year later, you guys are not gonna believe that I run into him this many times. But <laughs> a year later, I'm trying to make it work. I'm, I have a little hustle. I work at the T Temple Performing Arts Center, which was like an awesome job. Like I made my own schedule. I got to see like really weird plays about like infidelity. Like this was like a prime during my time at Temple. <laughs> so some sort of event happens at Temple and like I hear like word that like Michael Nutter is gonna be there. Of course I'm like, of course he's gonna be there cause I'm here, so <laughs> he's gonna show up for sure. So I see him and I'm like, Michael Nutter, like you may not remember me, but I remember you. And he's just like, oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> this one is probably the craziest story. During my junior year at Temple, I study abroad. I go to Rome, that's like in Europe, like that's a different country. So if you didn't believe me before, you gotta believe me now. Like. So I go to Rome and I'm like, you know, like, you know, doing my studies or whatnot. And then they say like, oh, by the way, like they're trying to get the Pope to come to Philly. <laughs> we all know how that turned out. Um, <laughs> so they're trying to get the Pope to come to Philly. So like they might have, you know, like the governor come, come in. You remember who was the guy at that time? It was before Corbin. Oh, what the? Oh, <laughs> I like repress that memory. But anyway, <laughs> they're like, okay, the governor's gonna come. I was like, I'll take a hard pass. I'm just gonna get pizza that day. But then we realized that Michael Nutter's gonna be there. So you know I'm in there. Like, <laughs> I go to the event, you know, I see him, I shake his hand and I'm like, look, like, 
I met you so many times right now, you have to remember me at this point. And he's like, oh, I remember you, I remember you. He probably didn't remember me. But like, you know, I talked to him and I was just like, look, I've always wanted to say one thing to you throughout all these years of me meeting you. And he's like, what is it? And I was like, well, you probably, your daughter, right? You know, she goes to Masterman. And he's like, yeah, no, yeah, she does go to Masterman. How'd you know that? And I was like, I do my research on my BFFs. Um, <laughs> and then he looks at, I look at him and I was like, well, you made a mistake. You should have sent him to Central because Central's the best school ever. <laughs> so then he follows. I see him a couple of times after that. But <laughs> basically, I'm just waiting for us to hang out. I don't have quite the relationship with Jim Kenny. We're still working on it. You know, like these things take time, like 12 years to be exact. But yeah, <laughs> if you see Michael Nutter, tell him if there's a short girl who complains about like Central and Temple Performing Arts Center, it's me. So yeah. <laughs> Give it up for Deborah.